What is up guys and welcome back. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the locations to good couple of the weapons including some upgrades as well. And there might be some duplicates. So if you're in one area and you want to go to a different area, there might be a weapon closer to where you are. So use the timestamps in the description and you'll be able to jump to any one of the weapons. So for starters, we're going to head to the southwest and grab the valve. Valva. Jesus. Gotta love Deuce Bigelow. And it is awesome for a sniper rifle, amongst a host of other ways you can build that weapon. Very, very powerful one shot. As you can see here, it is a new weapon because it is completely orange. And there it is, the valve. And go ahead and upgrade that bastard and start using him. Okay, next up is going to be the second location for the valve. So you can use the description, guys, to skip to the next one if you want to. The next one is the Shambler that and there's going to be a nice workbench here and there is the second location now remember if you've got a weapon before and it's in your train car it doesn't matter if you drop it and swap it for a weapon that you don't have it'll always be retrievable from the train okay this is going to be down in the southwest just do a quick scan of the room and you'll come here part of the story mission and you have to take out the sniper at the top and grab the key, I think it is. And then one of the guys up here are going to have the Shambler on them. Fail, fail. <laughs> okay, so check out these enemies down here. And I found it right down here. Fantastic weapon, this. And I'm going to show you the location to the clip upgrade, which gives you 10 rounds, which is also just fantastic. Next one, we're going to have the Gatling gun. Now, as I played the level, I realized that this is more and more common. So I'm going to show you one location here, which is the first location I found it. Otherwise, any boss will have it. Not that there's a large amount of bosses walking around, but um, they normally have the fatty guns. Right here is the note, but we're not here for that. So you turn around, head to the left, and we're going to go all the way to the back. And there's going to be lots of stuff here as well, including the Gatling gun, as well as, I think it is, not the Bulldog. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I think it's the bastard. Yeah, it's the bastard. Okay, so head up to the back, and it's going to be chilling right there on some crates. Haven't used it a terribly large amount. Not very user-friendly, unless you have a boss battle. Then immediately to your right, you're going to have another one. And that is the bastard. They're all good weapons, really. Okay, next one, we're going to head all the way to the story objective. This is going to be the Bulldog. So you'll hit these enemies here, and on them, they're going to have, pretty much all of them will have the Bulldogs. And I was super stoked to get this weapon, been waiting for it. Next up is the Tihar upgrade. Now once your base has been moved into the, the building next to the train, you come and speak to Tokarev here, and he's going to give you an upgrade. And again, it's perfect for taking out weaker enemies at distance. And there it is right there. The most amazing name, the automatic pneumatic system. Love it. Thank you. Okay, on this run, I do change the footage, as you will see in a second. But we're down in the southeast. And this is near the end of the level. And that is the same building I was looking at, just to my left. But on the right-hand side here, we're going to find a weapon with the green laser. Love it. Very popular, this one. As you can see, it's already equipped. Pretty damn cool. Okay, now from the same location, I'm going to show the map again in case somebody has used the timestamps. And we're going to head inside, and there's going to be a host of weapons in here, including the second location for the Gatling gun. And I think it's a Kalash that I collect after that. I'm not actually sure. And then upstairs, you're going to have the night vision goggles upgrade, as well as another weapon in that uh, top room. So quite lucrative. Come visit this spot. There we go, all the way to the end of the corridor. Crashed helicopter on my right. Then down the corridor, it's going to be another one against the wall. This is the one I couldn't really see what it was. Could be a valve, but it is there. Then we're going to head upstairs. And I want to skip this because it's all the way to the top. 
Nice safe room here. And there's going to be another one right there. Some more upgrades for weapons. Always useful. And the night vision NVD upgrade right there. Okay, now is the big one. Unfortunately, the weather sucked. I didn't have any safe houses in the vicinity. So you're going to be looking for that large structure right there. And you can see it just as the coast veers to the right-hand side. You can use that as a pinpoint. So crossroads right there. And then just next to this, on the right-hand side, is going to be a van. And there's going to be a shotgun magazine upgrade in there. Very lucky to find this one, especially in the storm. Now this can be attached to the shambler as well as the shotgun, I think. Giving both of them stacks amount, right gun there. It says shotgun magazine, but I can equip it on the shambler as you can see. Because the shambler is essentially your shotgun. And that's that guys, the shotgun's the big one. I really hope you're enjoying the content. Smash that like button if you are. If you have any questions at all, give us a shout. I'm always going to answer. So I want to say thanks for watching, and I want to catch you on the next one.